Alright guys, so here's the unboxing of the Spectra colder intake for my Camaro. Let's get it opened up. See what all's in here. Oh, well, this didn't even notice this one's carb legal, 50 state legal. All right, got some stickers, some instructions. Probably won't need the instructions. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get this installed. On the car tomorrow but we'll probably dummy it up here on the ground right now um yeah the, i have a colder intake on my car currently but it's it's junk it's just a ebay one it's been on there for a long time don't like it anymore but yeah i like this this is I like the black look underneath the hood gives it kind of that sleeper look um but yeah let me uh we'll set you up probably on a time lapse while i assemble this and we'll go from there catch you guys in a minute all right guys so i was kind of struggling a little bit with getting the clamps on they are just on there right now loosely um Tomorrow, whenever there's light out, I'm going to install the intake and I'll let you guys know if I feel any difference between the old one and the new one. Um, like I said, it's a Spectra intake. There's the carb number if you want to order one. It is D-629-4. That is the Spectra 2010 to 2015 Camaro Colder intake. Um, honestly, it's very easy to install. You're gonna have this line routing into the valve cover. Obviously, this goes on the throttle body. Tighten these clamps up. Um, there is one clamp here that I have loosely right now that is gonna go on a stud. Um, that's pretty simple. That's, that's all there is to it. Uh, stay tuned for more videos though. I got a lot more stuff coming. So we're gonna get you that clip of driving right now. Um, here you go. All right guys, so this is the intake installed. So I don't really want to take it off, but it's simple enough. You're gonna have this tube. It's gonna go from obviously the intake tube route under the throttle body. It should route back there. I just didn't want to take the throttle body off to do it. But here, let me turn the GoPro a little bit. Get you in there, you can see. It goes in there and then onto the valve cover. Uh, you can kind of see it somewhere in there. But yeah, then uh, your MAF sensor is going to go in. goes in here. I need to get a bolt here or a nut for here because the old intake didn't have it. But all in all, I like it. It's solid. It ain't going nowhere. It's does a job for I mean I think I paid 220 for this intake and I feel like it's worth it. Uh yeah guys I mean nothing else I can really say. I mean I like it. I'll get you guys a sound clip right now of how the car sounds. But yeah, I mean all my, my current stuff I got on the only thing now that I really need to do is buy an exhaust for the car from the headers back because uh, when I first got the car I kind of hacked it up trying to make it sound better and it ended up just not working out so I don't even have excuse me I don't even have mufflers on the car currently so but yeah, this, this intake, I, I actually really like it. I think I'm going to end up buying one of the Spectra ones for my Silverado. It currently has a K&N one on it. 
but yeah I think uh, this might be the brand I go with now on my intakes for the qual I mean for the price and the quality you're getting it's pretty good and I really do like that the intake tube is black that's like my favorite part of the whole thing it makes makes the whole engine flow like the car is white don't mind the unpainted front bumper but cars white you know white on black always matches so I mean you seen it you heard it or you're about to hear it now but alrighty we will get you a sound clip right now where you can hear it turn on for a cold start all right let's get it forgot to show you guys the old junk intake I was talking about I got it for like 60 bucks like three years ago off Facebook marketplace have no idea it's got to be an eBay brand intake nothing never had bolts in here for my map to hold it down it was just junk it was floppy I had to replace my AC line because this cut through it I mean it was just it was horrible this into this filter always slides off I mean this intake is just junk it's gonna go in the trash right now but I figured I would throw a clip into this just to show you guys like what I had before versus what I got now all right guys so yeah that's uh, gonna be the first video on the Camaro uh, I have done a bunch of stuff to it that wasn't covered you know as as I'm starting this channel like I mean as you can hear uh, sorry, throwing trash away. As you can hear, it is cammed. Uh, it is full bolt on already. I mean, there's not a lot else we can do to it right now. Um, but I do have a lot of stuff planned for it currently. Um, it's going to be little by little as you know the budget can afford. But I do want to start probably gonna start vlogging with the car until I get the truck up here um, it's probably gonna be wind I'm sorry for the wind noise if there's wind noise but yeah that was a cold start it's about 45 today um, yeah I mean I can't really say much else besides you know this is I'm cold this is my Camaro if you guys like what you see I mean, stick around, grow with me. Um, I'm going to try to start posting at least, you know, pretty regularly, maybe once a week, twice, once every two weeks, something like that. I don't know. But this is the car. I will be doing a lot more to it. Make sure to check out what else I have. Follow me on Instagram at 2SS underscore Cole. Um, that's my Instagram name. Um, yeah guys and can't say much else there you go like comment subscribe thanks for watching